Welcome to Lucky 7 Tarot. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, June. And people are dealing with Pisces. This is in October 2018. Hope everyone's having a good morning, a good month already. And thank you so much for your support, Pisces. Continue to do so and join the Clover community by like, commenting, and subscribing. Really appreciate it. We're going to see a general reading of what could possibly be happening for you, Pisces. Guys, we have a new updated website. Please check the comment section in the description. And that is where all the other information will be. So, much love to you, Pisces. And let's see what's in your reading. In your reading. Okay. Okay. So, Pisces, what can we see? Oh, and I always forget, and as you guys know, it is Goddess Sales. Any information about me will be also on the website. Let's see, Divine, what can we see about the lovely Pisces that we have? Of our clovers who are Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and other placements. Let me do three cards. That's number one. That's two. And number three. You have the six of Ariel, the week of faith, and nine of Ariel. Okay, so what I forgot, you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Libra, a Virgo, or a Leo. Okay, so it looks like there's some type of give and receive that you have received in the past or you're receiving at this time. Okay, you are, this whole month is all about, um, October is all about harvesting, okay, um, Manifesting what you want, working hard for it, being determined for it so you can reap your rewards, okay? So right now you're in the making, you're the mechanic right now, you're working on some type of project, okay? And same material needs get refilled in magical and unexpected ways, acts of kindness, giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So possibly um, someone, you, you may have been giving to a particular person out of the kindness of your heart or helping someone or vice versa, someone is helping you. This could be um, in the past, Pisces, that someone was helping you, and now, right now, um, you're, you're giving it in return, you know, thank you for this, I'm going to help you with this, or you scratch my back, I scratch yours, however that resonates, or it could be vice versa, okay, you need it, or they need help in the past, and at this time, they are helping you with something that you need, okay, it's, it's sort of a give and receive, or a balance, or you also could be dealing with the Libra, possibly just have met this Libra, or been dealing with them for... I say a couple months now, um, to just met them to a couple months, okay? And now you guys are talking about building a relationship together, or you're starting to see the like minded things that you have within this person, okay? Maybe, um, it's like some things are different about this person and vice versa, but you guys are alike, or you guys seem to be going on in the same direction or the same path, or it could be saying that, um, you could be meeting a new person or involved with someone possibly from the past that in the past you didn't have so much give and receive with but in the future it looks like you guys are starting to be on the same path okay and then going into the present we have the leap of faith so why i say that is someone wants to um, come into a partnership with you or are already involved in a partnership with you and want to go to a higher level it's saying believe in yourself listen to your heart do what gives you joy this could be a relationship, this could be a job, or this could be a certain situation that you want a clarity in, you want some type of movement, okay? This could be even a family situation or something also happening to with loyalty, maybe a best friend or a friendship. Maybe you fell out with a particular friend, okay, dealing with finances, and now they're coming back maybe to pay you back or coming back to talk it out or coming back to on a more mature level. Some of you guys have to like, you know, it's been, some of you guys are like reflecting your life at this time, okay, and also thinking about when you get 
a certain age like some of you guys are like when i was younger you know I, I did this and this and this and some of you guys are thinking like you know when i get to the age of 60 or 50 or however old you are i want to have this this or be able to be stabilized or i want to be truly happy truly comfortable and truly confident okay some of you guys have possibly in the past been um pleasing others and not really um having love for yourself or just caring not not so much ca not caring about yourself but putting others before you okay and the time is now to have a give and receive with particular people okay and always put yourself first and believe in yourself okay there is a certain opportunity or opportunities love relationships friendships like-minded people um business opportunities that will be coming to you Pisces in order for you to believe in yourself that you're able to um take heed to this uh, situation opportunity and able to take it and know that you can do it okay you've been on the long path you've been through all these trials and tribulations you've been through the losses the wins however that resonates for you okay and this is your time to shine this is your time to be looked at okay you're a magical mystic being so listen to your heart and do what gives you joy and that basically means like you know take I was saying that for Capricorn, so yeah, you might be dealing with Capricorn, like, take that leap of faith, okay? This is actually true, okay, this is actually, um, something that you can, um, trust, or you can put your time and energy in and not feel, um, defensive, or not feel like you're making a mistake, as well, this could be a person coming into your life, okay? In the end of the deck, you have nine of area, your dreams are fulfilled, hard work leads to great success, a love for the beautiful things in life, okay? And after you take this leap of faith, or after you realize this about yourself, about the situation, or about some type of give and receive, your dreams are fulfilled, okay? Maybe you have to speak out for what you truly want, okay? Don't be um, behind the shadows, Pisces, or or maybe, you know, you've been working so hard towards a particular situation, now it's finally coming here to give it to you. Um, to for opportunity for you to have or maybe to let go of something okay maybe to start something new but it's also saying being appreciative of the things already around you okay of the family of the friends of the situation that has came to you okay maybe you're being you're being very blessed around this time okay and a lot of good opportunities love relationships things are happening for you and you have the love and the strength which is self-confidence, forgiveness, okay, so maybe you had to forgive a Leo, a Virgo, possibly um, through a situation, or you had to come to a certain, certain grounding within these people, within this certain situation, and now you're moving on from it, or you are um, having to change within the situation, okay, for the better, there's a new beginning or a new type of insight that you have. Some of you guys are pushing for or powering through something, okay? This could be in your work situation, okay? Maybe there's a lot of things going on and now maybe in the past you wanted things to be balanced or you were talking about your salary or your hours or something about your job and now a new opportunity, a new situation and things are changing and now, you know, your wishes are being fulfilled. It just looks like whatever you you are wondering about or is warning you if you step out if you take that with the faith if you branch out if you you know um not so much get out your feelings <laughs> don't not so much that but if you be able to say what you want okay and mean it with actually determination and mean it with actually aggression okay that's this opportunity will come to you okay but it's not going to come to you if um, you're not saying what you want or you're not taking the action that you need to achieve this, okay? You already have the resources, okay? Six of arrow means material needs to be fulfilled in magical ways. So don't think you won't be able to get this job, this house, okay? This car or this uh, certain situation, okay? Because you will, but you just have to know and you just have to take the steps to getting there. Some of you guys, this is weird, some of you guys could live upstairs and downstairs within a particular person, and some of you guys may want to move, um, or maybe just go to a different location. Uh, there's a lot of transformation possibly with this Capricorn, okay, or you could have this in your chart, or, or just the type of energy in your life at this time. Things are changing for you, okay, you are distancing yourself, or adding, or, or, putting an addition to your life. You're like taking away something and adding something in. 
Some of you guys may receive roses. Okay, you may receive pink roses, white roses, or yellow flowers. I was getting yellow for Pisces for so long. A yellow or like a sparkly uh, glitter. So I don't know if that may, yellow may be someone's favorite color. Or like someone may be having like a lot of um, like sparkly gold or it's more so like gold. Like something shimmering, something like that. Are those colors could be important for you at this time. But um, when I see, and it's also uh, 6 0 9, it's like pink for some reason. So pink uh, to me represents, um, it wasn't peace, but oh, hope. Okay, so like hope and faith. So maybe hope and faith is needed at this time dealing with certain situations. Okay. So let's see, Pisces, we're already at 10 minutes. Tool of air. Okay, so maybe you don't want to have a give and receive with a particular person. This could be someone from the past or a new situation. Because possibly in the past, okay, there was a stalemate. There was an uneasy decision. Two people didn't feel the same way, or this is how you're feeling at this time, okay? Maybe someone wants you to do something that you do not want to do, or vice versa, or you don't see any meaning in it, okay? Or to pretending there is no problem. So maybe you're pretending that everything is okay when it's not, okay? You're pretending that you're getting your needs fulfilled, okay, in a job, in a love situation, and it's not. So in order to be able to change the situation or change your energy or change how you're feeling, you have to speak up, okay? You have to believe in yourself that you're able to attain this happiness, okay, this abundance or whatever you are transpiring. Because at the bottom of the deck, you have strength, okay? So there may be like-minded friends. And this might be this Leo, Leo, I was going to say Aries, maybe Aries or Virgo who is coming to you as friends. Or this could be your energy that you have to have self-confidence about this certain situation. Some things you have to do alone, Pisces. Maybe this is a certain um, journey that you have to travel alone. It doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be a self-purpose journey, a divine guidance journey. It's something that your dreams are going to get fulfilled in, okay? But it's saying a stalemate. So there's a past situation, a current situation that you're continuing to put your energy in when you know you're not getting nothing out of it or you're not getting your hopes met, okay? And that can also cause blockage towards stu the stuff that you actually want to achieve, that you actually want in your life. And you have the Knight of Air, which is a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius, or possibly a Knight of Capricorn, okay? Capricorn, Capricorn. Events that occur with great speed. Take time to care to review your options, creative solutions. So maybe this could be a work situation or, or some type of lack of communication, okay? Or maybe um, you could have been dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius or a Capricorn. And they didn't feel the same way, or there was a lack of communication, petty communication, or no communication. This person, or you have possibly came in and out, or you felt like this situation was up and down. Okay, it's saying a lot of things have happened, has transpired, okay, and you're starting to see the reality of things, or you're starting to gain some type of insight or ideas about a certain job situation, or this relationship, and you're moving away from it. Or you're knowing how to handle it in a better way, okay? Possibly having forgiveness with this person in order to change. But it's saying in order to make these change, you have to have self-confidence or forgive this person or have com or compassion. I mean, yeah. In order for this to be good. Look at this number air sign. Look, Queen of Air, Gemini of Aquarius, independent, experienced, realistic, witty, also Sagittarius. Objective decision making, clearing away all that no longer serves you, seeing the humor in the situation. Look at this air, air, look at this, three of air. Great sadness, take time to heal, the need to forgive yourself and others. So, yeah, you definitely are, will be going through healing care, have been, or currently is, okay? You could, you could have air in your chart, or these could have been two people you're dealing with, a female and male air sign, Capricorn, Sagittarius, possibly... Oh, Libra, yeah, Leo, Virgo, Aries, but there's a certain situation that you have came to a close about, a closure, okay, something that you have moved away from, once again, and now you're feeling very independent, you're feeling experienced, because you have been, once again, through the trials, the tribulations, you've been through a lot of things in your life, okay, you've seen the humor, the aha moment in here, the 
the the happiness in the woes okay and you're able to clear away what no longer serves you even if you still have emotional attachment or some type of obligation or attachment to it okay and you're understanding um the different views or how people are or you're understanding that you know that two wrongs don't make a right possibly like this like that and now you're healing from this because you know that this was a bad situation or this is not going long term for me long term uh, for you okay and you do not see any um future or you are not making any optimistic plans you do not want to reopen this relationship you don't see any foundation in this okay so you're at this time you're either moving away or taking time away from the situation or you're trying to figure out a better way but at the bottom of the deck is possibly going to move away or handle the situation from a different light okay it looks like yeah you did get hurt by the situation or you know you're just um reclusing yourself from the situation it could have been uh five people eight people a lot of people involved in the situation or a lot of people got involved in which made you become in the three of air by the um air energy about this maybe you thought in the past you thought this was long term um this job person or situation you thought this was going to work out but it looks like you know by the reality of things maybe you guys um always fight or always uh can't get on the same page or something like that and then some of you guys may be moving away from a libra a capricorn dramatic aquarius moving to a sagittarius or a moon dramatic aquarius You guys may have a friend who's a Leo Virgo Aries. Okay, or that could be a new person as well. However, that resonates, but there is a lot of air energy. So there's a lot of communication or um, mental thinking playing a huge part in this. Okay, maybe you need to have a sit down or need to talk to a particular person and see where they're coming from. Or someone possibly has walked away from you, Pisces, and you have to uh, realize that they're in a the healing period and they decided that they don't want to go long term with this situation. They felt that it was an unwise choice. You guys don't connect or it just wasn't working out for them. And you have to have confidence enough to keep pushing forward and know that your dreams are going to be fulfilled. Possibly not with this particular person, but with a new person, okay? Possibly Aquarius is coming towards you or want to come towards you or vice versa. It could be Aquarius rising, sun, moon. It's a lot of air energy, definitely in here. So let's read your oracle card because you guys press this are the longest because we're only 15 minutes. <laughs> so Pisces, let's see. Oh, this is a new deck. Work for your light oracle card, Rebecca Campbell. Oh, that's two. Pisces. Unbound. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So yeah. Three. So three means friends. Three means community. Three means coming together to me. And three means possibly a third party, deceit, or um, yeah, third party situation. So you are releasing yourself, detaching yourself from the situation. Or you need to. Okay? Not so much cutting the cords. Maybe this was a... Uh, a soul connection, karmic, twin flame, or someone that you've known for a while. This could have been a, um, this is either starting new, a three month situation, or been at like a three year or more situation, okay? Or this possibly could have been three people involved, okay? This could be a family situation between three sisters. Maybe three sisters, and then one sister has passed away, or one sister is detached from the other fam the other family, maybe a Cancer Pisces, Cancer Pisces moon or however that resonates. Okay, so let's see unbound. And also if this is resonating, please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you guys can hear me. I know I talk very slow. Okay. So it's saying, it is time to release old soul stories that have been playing out in your life. 
They are coming up to be killed. There has never been a safer time to clear these patterns than right now. Take a look at patterns in your life that you are ready to release. Ancient vows and contracts that your soulmate have an expiry date. It could be a vow of silence or chastity or poverty. It is time to unwind from them. This is the life in which you free yourself from the trauma of life's past. What old ways of being have an expiry date? When you name them, you claim them, and they stop holding power over you. When acknowledging these old patterns, it is also important to acknowledge how they served you up until now. For example, a soul pattern of playing small, caused by soul fear of being seen or sharing your voice, which has served you by keeping you safe. In order to grow, you now need to soften by receiving and calling in support. It is time to unbind from the old ways of being that are no longer sustainable. Alright, so that is for you, Pisces. Unbound. Okay, release yourself. So, hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to Lucky Sagittarius. And please like, comment, subscribe, and have a good month, Clovers. Goodbye.